First question is from D. D Seg Moen. How would you tweak anabolic and aesthetic to be an hour format? So maps anabolic and maps aesthetic. So you know, here's what's just what's interesting about this. I obviously created Maps Anabolic. I still follow the program here and there. It doesn't take an hour, o over an hour, to do Maps Anabolic foundational workouts. No, it just aesthetic doesn't. does, but Anabolic does not. Aesthetic does, but Maps Anabolic doesn't. So if you're taking over an hour, either your rest periods are too long, or I don't know what you're doing, it should not take over an hour. Now Maps Aesthetic, I typically would do the workout in an hour and fifteen minutes, hour and twenty minutes uh, at most. I know Doug, same experience. Um, it's just more volume. Now, if you don't have over an hour to do MAPS aesthetic workouts, you could just cut the sets out of the exercises for the areas of your body that you think need less work. Well, there's, so, a, there's other ways you could do this, um, I, or at least how I do it, because this happens to me sometimes. Sometimes I, I, I only have 40 minutes or 30 minutes, and so, and I'm running through one of these programs. So, what ends up happening? So, if I have, if I'm short on time and I'm running maps anabolic, and I talked about this the other day, I think on the show, um, I because this uh, this is kind of how I'm training right now, is I'll, I'll cut in half, right? So it's only a three day a week program. So what I'll end up doing is, you know, I'll do upper body one day, lower body the next day, upper body, but I'm I'm following all the exercises in anabolic. I'm mm. just turning it from a three day a week to a six day a week program mm -hmm. and splitting it in half. So that's how I would mess with anabolic. Now aesthetic, you, you mean? Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Now that's how I would do anabolic. Now aesthetic, because we, there's more days in the gym, it's a little bit longer, and then you have focus sessions. I would just add some. If I couldn't get to, I'd pick a muscle group or two, uh, and I'd pull it out of uh, the foundational day, and I would just add it to a focus day. Oh, that's a great point. Yeah. So that's if a really, really good point. So you have a full. It's because the way aesthetic is designed, it's a full body routine, and then you have focus days every other day. So what I would just do is just say, oh, okay, I'm going to uh, take the my shoulder exercises and my maybe my pushing exercises, shoulder, mm -hmm. uh, chest, and tries. I'm going to put on my focus day with my my two or three focus exercises mm -hmm. that I was going to do. Yeah, I so, think that's, yeah, that, that makes sense. I, I yeah. think that's great advice. And those are two easily two of the most popular programs. Yeah, uh, that we currently. That's have. I mean, uh, uh, one of the things we always try and communicate on the show is that you know we we design these things as. Uh, as a foundation or as a kind of a, a generic blueprint for people to follow, but you, this is how you can modify this stuff. I mean, yeah, your, your, your always best bet is to learn how to modify workouts for you. And this includes your body, your goals, your fitness, specific areas you want to focus on and your schedule. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that was the idea. The idea was to give you the, the, the blueprint and then you kind of move away or change it according to your individual needs. And that's always going to give you the best results anyway. Individualization of workouts is uh, one of the best things.